Hi, this is PDF Berserk Arcade at berserkarcade.com, and this is tutorial 197. So we were still working on our saving of character data. And the next step, let me see, game settings 2 was saving, or sorry, loading up all of our attributes. So I'm going to want to create a new array, uh, which I've actually done up here. And I'm going to want to get a length of that. So that's going to be equal to new attribute. And I'm going to want to actually get the length. And we actually have this done over here. If you go to any of the for loops, you can just actually cut and paste that in there. Now we are actually going to have to add a system using. So we'll just go like this. And put our semicolon. And I think it's the num class that requires it using system. Yep, so we got that in. Let me just save it, tab over to Unity, make sure no errors pop up for it. And there are none. We'll ignore the Dropbox. I forgot to turn off Dropbox syncing again. And I'm in game settings too. I will scroll down. So we're right there. So we've got an array of the proper length. Now we're actually going to want to go through and load those values up. And again, I'm actually just going to cut and paste. So here's where we're loading it. Uh, I'm just going to cut and paste the whole thing for the tributes and we'll use that as a starting template. And I'll just paste that in here. Now I do actually want to return ADD, which is right. And well, let's just go through. So we're making a count. We're going through for the number of attributes we have. We're increasing the counter. Uh, we're going to want to change this to ATT. And then the current counter we're on, so CNT, we're going to want to get an integer of the attribute name, uh, CNT being the counter we're on, uh, to string. So that's actually converting the attribute name to string. And then we're going to want to pass in our constant that we made for base value. This way we get rid of our typos. And we're going to want to assign a base value if we don't have any. And like I said before, actually, uh, we don't have to do any of this. What we can do is call our loading of a single attribute right up here. So we've already got the functionality done. Uh, let's just use it. Uh, load attribute. We are going to have to pass in the name of the attribute. Let me see. Yes, it does take an attribute name. So we're going to have to convert the attribute name or the index we're on in the attributes to an actual name and again I forgot to do a name get rid of that one extra space we actually don't need semicolons I tend to get rid of them if they're not needed and I'm going to come over here and for here I'm going to write a debug log or a for loop for our debug log statement uh, actually I'm going to create an array of attributes And I'm just going to call this temp, and it's going to be actually equal to game settings two dot load attributes. Uh, this way here, I'm grabbing all the attributes that are saved, and I just want to debug log out uh, other values. So for int cnt is equal to zero, cnt is less than uh, what I call it temp dot length uh, will increase CNT and then we're going to debug out uh, debug log out the values uh, so we'll just do well, we need to delete a lot of this att dot oh, I'm sorry not att it's temp now temp dot base value uh, oops, sorry, we got to tell it the index. Base value. Okay, so we got that. And there I go hit the keyboard again. <laughs> so we can also do the same thing here. Temp, CNT, and then the experience to level. And 
that should be fine. I'm actually going to get rid of this one. Well, no, sorry, I don't want to get rid of that. I'm just going to put a space in there. Because we are going to have to enable that after. So we'll go back in. I'll make sure there's no errors. There is none. We'll start her up. And I'll just randomly assign values here. And of course, our name. I'm going to go with good old George. We'll hit next. And before I close it, let's scroll up and take a look. So 61, 59, 60, 55, 54, uh, 55 again, and 76. So they all worked. And if you really want to be anal about it, you can open up where it's saved and actually compare all the numbers as well. I'm satisfied with the load option actually working. So we'll just close that. I'm going to shrink this down again. And I'll come back into Mono Develop. And let's see what's next on the list. So we'll go over to Game Settings 2. Uh, we've got these working. Uh, let me see here. Uh, next is uh, well, I'll Save Vitals. So it's almost the exact same thing that we're going to do with the attributes. So it's going to be pretty quick. Uh, after that we have uh, the skills and it looks like that's it. I'm just going to go into my original game settings and I just want to make sure that there's nothing here that I was saving that I'm not saving in the new one. Uh, so we have the name, we have our primary attributes, we have our vitals. Uh, we're calling the update. Uh, make sure you call this so that the adjusted base value, okay this is on the load. Hmm. So let me see here. This was the load, right? Yeah, so we're loading the character up. Uh, get the stored value for the current value for each vital. So we're going through. Oh, sorry, this is just loading it back up. And we're also doing the skills down here. Uh, it's been a while since I looked at this script, so some of the comments I actually have to read. Let me sure that you call the adjusted base value you did for you call the current value so before we call the current value on this which is what we're going to need for another string so while I'm here I'm just going to put that up here private constant string and I believe I just called it current value and whoops just like the other one uh, I just want to actually have the names the same now. So we're actually saying curve value. So we've got that string done. And we're doing this for the actual vital. So I'm just actually going to make a note of this. And we want it before so we, we want to make sure we call the adjusted base values before we call the Okay, I now I remember why I added that. It's because if you don't do it, uh, you'll load your character up and he could uh, potentially have you know, like zero um, base health. So, yeah, okay, I remember why we did that. But I do want to make a comment about that in here. Uh, so let's scroll down to the loading of vitals. And I'm just going to throw it right up at the top. Actually, to be honest, I'm just going to cut and paste that comment. And I'll just comment out the actual code. I'll bring that in and that in. And let's also head over to our base stat. Uh, sorry, it wasn't base stat. I think it was base character. Yes, and I'm going to make these public as well. For now until I get a chance to actually sit down and look at the script in a little bit more detail. So I'll just refactor, rename, and we'll just get rid of the underscore in front of it. And likewise with skill. Now there's not much time left because I want to try to start getting these back down to 10 minutes uh, on average. 
So I don't really want to jump into uh, templating this out because I want to take a start taking a look at my. Let's see. Let's get vitals. Let's actually just take a quick look at the vital class. Let me see. Base class vital, and we're calling adjusted base value, and that's because we want to make sure. Yeah, because we're assigning it. So adjusted base value probably goes all the way back to base stat. Yeah, so I was right. It's actually could potentially load us up, and make us not have any health. Uh, but since we're returning it as an array, well, I'll take a look at it off camera and see if there's another way I can rework it. Or uh, I don't. I know I eventually want to make our character class static, and there'll be no problem actually calling that uh, this line here for our character. But I don't want to do it just quite yet. Uh, so I'll try to figure out some little workaround for. It. Anyway. Uh, that's about it for this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.